Hello everybody, this is Nick speaking. Welcome back to another episode of Polycraft. Today is episode number 44, I believe. Yeah, 44. And we are here in the Water Temple. Made the area look a little bit nicer recently. Put a little bit of leaves up there and kind of finished off this path over here. But yeah, today got a few other things going on. We need to um, take care of this item elevator behind me, and I have an idea for a new ideas room, because we have lots of ideas and nowhere to store them, so all the ideas are going to go in here. And this is going to be complete with a redstone door and etho door, which is what I'm planning anyway. So, yeah, so first off, we're going to tackle this little project over here. We're going to need lots of these item hoppers in order to do it though, because, yeah. This thing doesn't work in 1.9, and I'd like to get it taken care of before we get to 1.9, just because, you know, there's lots of stuff in this dropper already, and it's just, you know, gonna keep piling up. At least there's some room back here for all of it to just flow in, and then we just only have to worry about it over there, so, yeah. The idea is, okay, obviously I've got lots of stuff in here, but, um, yeah, I worked this out in a creative world, um, gonna need lots more of these dropper guys, so, all the way up to there, so I think probably about 20 or so droppers, and a whole bunch of other stuff. I'm gonna go grab some supplies for this project, I'll be, and I'll be back as soon as I have them. Uh, and I'm back with stuff. With lots of stuff. Droppers and glowstone and other stuff. That we're gonna need to actually build this thing. To replace it all. And the first obvious thing is going to be this sticky piston. Doesn't need to be here. I was trying to do a different design, but that design isn't as efficient as this design, so this design prevails. And instead of where I have this, I'm gonna have this one here still, but it's gonna go upward. And where that water stream is up at the top, I'm basically going to dig into there, which, if I remember right, is pretty easily accessible from over here. Um, that's a silk touch, right? Yep, this is a silk touch one. Okay. So yeah, I can get in here pretty easily. And basically that's the glass there. Oh, right, it's under this floor. So we can more or less basically just ignore this here this can still be the glass tube but this is going to be the new location for our droppers and it's basically going to shoot the stuff out they're still going to come down this water stream here like normal but we're just going to have it a little bit different and yeah it's a very easy to access location to sub yeah, can't go back, actually. I forgot it was right under that. Yeah, because I was going to raise it up higher, I remember originally, but then this was here, so I couldn't. So this lines up with the one down at the bottom. And it also means these next two tiles back here, going all the way down, need to be dug out. We need space down here to work with. 
because we are going to be making a clock down here for all this stuff to go off of. And hey, redstone. Ooh, I like more redstone. Hello, redstone. You're mine now. Alright, so... I'm gonna put our torches in just so that way we have a lit area, and I'm more or less going to take our iron. And we're gonna need a kinda nice solid area to work on. There we go. Okay, so that should be good. So now we need to be able to detect if there are items in here. And did I leave myself enough room? Okay, so item is detected. Then we need a redstone here. Then we need a... No, not like you. You need to go there. You need to go back into it. You go there. You go there. And this more or less becomes where a chain goes. And I don't have enough actual redstone on me. Whoops! I'm trying to remember that. Power that, which goes back into there. That needs to be subtraction mode. So basically, it's just going to send items up. Word. And we need more redstone itself, so I- you know what? Hey, look at this, I have redstone ore on me. It's almost like you plant this. And... very cute. <laughs> it's almost like I planned it. So it's supposed to be like a quick fire timer like this, so that way it gets these items up quickly. There we go. That's how it's supposed to be. Alright. I am still recording, right? Yep, I'm still recording. Okay, so everything's out here at the bottom. And whenever anything shows up, it should just fire up pretty quickly. And I can probably actually demonstrate this because we have a lot more of this stuff that needs to go up into the um, sorting system above, so I'm just going to throw you right into here, and yeah, it does get a little no loud when it's firing a whole bunch of stuff at once, but you know. It's a quick item elevator, and up above, hopefully everything's, um, fine. I'm gonna go up and see. This up here isn't firing. Um. Here's our, where we had to do the weirdness. So I still hear it running. So this is all the further up stuff's making it. OK, 
Okay, well, we'll need to fix this. Not even this one, it's next one up. Okay. If only this were quiet. Okay, so we'll put a tick delay. So we'll have to put a tick delay in here. And internet. Hello. Thank you. that. Wow, that produces a lot of lag. Oh boy. just gonna manually drop all this stuff in the system. And right, this goes who knows where at this point. <laughs> um, yeah, right, so we'll just drop this into the system manually, which means going in here, and more or less just putting in the first dropper here, up at the top on the site. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Boom, boom. And you. Okay. So that'll all sort in. Um, you want to make sure we don't have any other, um, spots where stuff's stuck. Like, um, everything. Because we don't want server lag. Server lag is bad. And yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, test this out a little bit and make sure we've got good, um, everything going. Looks like everything should be fine. The only sad part is we don't get items floating up here anymore. That makes me sad.
Although it does mean I can cap the bottom off here. This can just be an open, and this can be covered over. So, yeah. And now you can be a lower one. Just so that way we have kind of a step there. And did we put the rest of these in here? Yes, we did. Good. Three. There we go. So, we were hidden again. We do have this little kind of glass tube thing going on here, but that has nothing going on in it now, but that's, you know, out of my control. So, um, yeah, we're going to need to go take this pillar down now. And that will be one of the two projects done today. Hopefully one that's not too laggy as well. Alright, so. You need to go back. And this can fill in. Yeah, the only problem is it's very loud here now. But, you know, oh well. And we can do that. We might as well harvest our pumpkins and melons, because we can. And, yeah, this is going to be running constantly for a little bit now, so, um... But yeah, I can come up here, and I can more or less just see that everything is running the way it's supposed to. There's still this little access here, if I need it. And it just... <laughs> hey, look, it's random items. I mean, not really, but... Essentially, that's what it is, is random items. Yeah, the top one just fires everything out instantly, so. Yep, the time when this is going to be most of an issue is when it's got a large load like what we just did to it. But it shouldn't have a large load very often, so. Should be fine. Yeah, every, yeah and you know, guardians are just going to be dying all the time anyway, so. And yeah, so oh right, the melon <laughs> the melon chests might um have a little bit of an issue in them with a bunch of junk. Right. How about the pumpkin chest? Pumpkin chest getting pumpkins, okay that's good. So they're getting their respective items. But th yeah, this needs to turn into not a junk chest. If we're gonna be putting pumpkins and melons into it. That might be a good idea. So yeah, that's one project done. Next one I want to, the other one I want to tackle today is getting this door made, but again, I'll need a whole bunch of redstone stuff, so yes, we are going to go grab some redstone stuff again, and I'm going to tackle this project as well. And then we'll have two projects done in one day. You know, both smaller things, but what things that need to get done, so. And yeah, I mean, you, other than that annoying ticking noise, you're never going to be able to tell that anything is going on here. Um, yeah, it's it's going to tick quite often, though, you know, because of the clock itself. That's the only 
downside to doing this. And yeah, we'll just do that. So this is all smooth, nice and smooth. Now you've got the roofing here, which... Yeah, this... That platform might get removed from inside there, and we'll... Let's we'll see about maybe changing the frame on this a little bit. Right now, as it stands, it's kind of not doing a not being very effective. But at the same time, we need to make sure everything dies down here. If they bounce in the right way, they're gonna just you know see like that guy up there is not on fire anymore. He's probably gonna die the second he falls down. Yeah, so we have that little problem with this whole um, elevator thing. But yeah, it'd be kind of... You walk down here, yeah, you kind of get that over here. This is... I don't know, I kind of like the smooth stone for that area, because I'll have that kind of stuff going on up there, too. And it just kind of looks partially like it's... um. Then it's part of this design, and not like, kind of a separate thing. Over here, too, we need to, you know, come up with some sort of design for, like, a tunnel system. That'll be kind of fun. Sweet. So, yeah. I'm gonna, you know, go collect stuff for this little project, and then I'll be back again. There we go. Alright, we're back. Finally. Game crashed like three times. Okay, so. This door is an Etho door. Which was made by Etho. Obviously, originally. And the idea is... Well, I'm not gonna... It's basically, hey, we need a door. And I just fell. And we need to be able to get up there to get that sticky piston back. Because I apparently can't jump today. There we go. Okay. So this one needs to face downward like that. These ones need to face this way. Not that one. That one's bad. That needs to face not that way either. No. Stop it. Stop it. There we go. And this one needs to be basically here in the middle of the space, so... Right, no. This floor is going to need to be taken out. It basically needs to go here. Not like that, though. Like that. No. Like that. There we go. Okay. So, you have these six pressure plates. So we're going to need six redstone on... This, the sides here. And let's see, when I step on it... That needs to be inverted. Oh, no. Not good. I already forgot how to do this. And this is a very simple door. How can I forget something so simple? This isn't good. I forgot how to do this already. Okay, so, um... Alright, so that one is on its block. Okay, so... One, two, three. 
you go up there. One, two, three, and you go there. Okay. So you have the door frame basically when it's open. And basically what I need to do is make this so it's a... I can walk up to the door, step on the pressure plates, and it opens. And then I go through, and it closes. Um, yeah, that's the idea of a door. You need to be able to open it and close it. Okay, so. We need redstone. Is there redstone in here? There is redstone in here. Okay, we'll take redstone from here. Because we can. And now if I can only remember how to do this. So. Okay. Um, right. I remember the sides and the top. Basically this is... Oh right, I can't go on there. Yeah, right. Let's see if I remember this right. Okay, so... You have the glowstone in those three spots. Those, so those all get powered. And I'll put iron there so I can get up. And then that just kind of wires over to there. Other side's the same way. Boom, boom, boom. That one we don't need one at the top, though, because guess what? It's already being powered, so only those three go on this side. And then underneath here, which means I'm going to need to dig some of this out so I can get down here. Have this one here, which is the, the weird one. And So basically, you can have a redstone there, redstone here. Do the same on the other side, if I can get over there. Redstone here, redstone here, redstone here. One, two, three. Okay, so we're down in here. This little chasm. And... That's the one I don't remember. Okay, so if I put that back in, put these ones back in, put all the redstone on top of those, and on top of these, and not here, because those are stupid spots for redstone. Okay, so let's see if that actually works. I think it does. Oh, except for Redstone's not actually hooked up. Okay, so we... It needs to be inverted, though. So it's right, but it needs to be inverted. Aha. Yes. So we need the inversion stuff. Okay. That's easy enough to do. So I'll just take that block out, take that block out. Um, take a few blocks out here so we can actually get over here. This one needs to go back to being a block again. And we can put a redstone torch there, so that's out by default. We'll do the same, I'll do the same on the other side over here. If I can get out of there. Yes, I can. Good job, Nick. Um, your slaps. You want full blocks. Okay. There we go, so that side's out, by default. And then we need the same over here. So that block gets removed, that gets removed. And we'll need another torch here, just because, you know. Redstone torch. Okay, so that's open by default now. And then when you step on it, it opens. And it closes again. Ooh, awesome. Okay, so... That makes this the weird one.
because this is now the opposite of everything. Because, guess what? Pressure plates are here. Pressure plate's not supposed to be there, but they're probably not supposed to be here. Oh, hi. Okay, so let's try moving those pressure plates out one. And they're going to technically go here. So I'm just going to set that up for now. And we can do this. Alright, so we have room around here to work. So we need those like that. This raise up, raises up one so we can power stuff. Okay, so boom, boom, boom. Raise you up one. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. And another redstone torch, because we can. So. Now all these are deployed by default. When I step on one of the, um... If I can get out of here. I didn't think that part through, did I? I'm stuck. Hi. Okay. Thank you, blocks. So when I step on here now, nothing happens because this is not pointed in the correct location. Okay. So. Now it should work. Hmm can just jump out here like that. Okay. Okay, so the rest of this is going to be delayed by one tick, but that's fine. Oh, I need to do the same on the other side too, don't I? Duh. Let's not do that. Okay, good. Okay, so... Right, we have this now. And that can just... Connect, can it? Um... No, it can't. Actually, it can. I can get removed. We still need to invert the signal, but we can invert it in a different spot. We can do it here. Okay, so. That goes there, that goes there. And then we have this. That should hopefully get us the signal out. Okay, so when you step on this, it all opens and it all closes. Open, close, open, close, open, close. Okay, I don't. That's not good. You're on the outside. Uh, so that needs to be able to tr travel this. Uh, so that doesn't work, actually. Okay, so let's put you back in. 
Boom, 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 boom. Okay, you're there. You're here too. You're our invert. You're the inverter. Okay, so we need to. You know what? I got it. Boom. And. Boom, boom. And boom, boom. Perfect. There we go. And you. And we can get out of here. And. No. You're not. Um, why are you. What? No. Those things are repeaters. These things need to be repeater. So, repeater. Not like that. Like. Repeater in here, which goes into the glowstone, which... Okay. I'm doing redstone. When I step on this, should be empowering that. It is empowering it. So why is this up here staying powered? I'm confused right now. Okay. And we need another repeater over here, which I'm going to need to craft really quickly. And it should be pretty easy. We just need one more torch. Boom, boom. You and some stone. There we go. And you go there. So, when we step here, everything opens, we run through, and we go through this way, everything opens, and I take, take a full damage because... Yep, there we go. Okay, we're good. So, yeah. Basically, this... Oh, that cobblestone can't be there. And that can't be broken either. Okay. So you have to be like that, regardless. So we cannot put a block there. And on this side, that's fine. Like that. Okay. So basically, you can't. You guys don't have to be there, but yeah, that that can't have a block there. Or if it has a block here, it has to be glowstone. And we could just do that. Yeah, we'll just do that. Okay. And then I can put blocks here too. Okay. That works for me. So yeah, this entire contraption is all going to be behind a door. So it's all going to be behind a wall. So you don't have to look at any of it. And yeah. There we go. We have a door. That, unless you're walking through it at normal speed, you're gonna get killed on. So there we go. I like it. And you can approach from basically any direction. And be able to walk straight through. So there we go. We have our item elevator fixed, and we have a door constructed.
and I'm thinking that's going to be all the time we have for, but let me look to see how long we've actually been recording, and I'll be back in just a little bit. Alright, so I just got done looking, and it looks like that's actually all the time we're going to have for this episode, so got two projects done this time around. We got our item elevator over here behind me, and we got our little door over here. So anyways, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!